What's up guys, this is TechnoCube and I welcome you on my channel. If you are new to my channel, then please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. Well, in this session, we will understand file upload control using ASP.NET using C Sharp. Well, I hope you had seen web control in my previous session, which we had seen with the help of text box control, button control and label control. All three, all three controls are very general, very simple and I hope you understood it. Okay, so in this session, we will understand file upload control. So I hope you had seen file upload control. This, it looks something like this. So uh, let me go with my default.aspx page. Uh, I know the, I hope you know the structure of uh, this ASP.NET and how to use it in Visual Studio. So this is my ASPX page and I specifically had opened the design part. Okay, we have a source code and we have a design code, design part. So I had opened this design part where, we, where I have one div and inside this div, I drag and drop this control, file upload. So file upload control is a kind of control where you can upload a file to a specific location, whatever you provide in your code behind file. Okay. So it looks something like this. I hope you can see this. This is my file upload control. It looks like open file dialog in Windows application. Okay, so this is my browse button where I will where I can browse any any of the file and then uh, on a button click event when I click on that button that particular file that you had browsed it gets saved to a location that you had given in the code behind file. Okay, so if you don't understand it then, then let me draw it in the paint so I have this uh, kind of file upload control here I have this browse button okay and again then I have one uh, button here so this is going to be the uh, upload button so whenever I up, whenever I click on this upload button what is going to happen when I click on this upload button uh, I'm so sorry when I click on this browse button basically when I click on this browse button this this file upload is going to give me a, a kind of dialog box where you can browse a file okay this is going to be your file oh I'm working with my mouse so yeah it looks different okay so I browse this file and then when you click on this upload button this particular file is going to be saved is going to be saved at a location that you had given in the code behind file okay so this is the new destination or the new location of that file so this is the new location uh, that you had provided in the code behind file so first step is you browse it when the browse is uh, going to be happen this file is going to be cho chosen and when you click on this upload button that particular file is going to be saved inside a new location here that's it okay so let's get back to our Visual Studio. So I already have this file upload control and then I will drag and drop one button control. Okay, so this is it. Let me give some space and then I also drag and drop one label label control so that it gives you a kind of message that yeah, this happened. Okay, so let me again give a space here. Okay, this looks good. So now what I'm going to do is I will change the text property of this button with the help of property window. I change the text property and I will say upload set okay again I click on this button so it will generate a click event for me let me resize my font here okay now it looks good so this on this button click event what I'm gonna do is let me check on my file upload control if there is any file or not so what I'm gonna do is I make an if condition and then again two times tab and then I'll say file upload one that is my file upload control dot has file is any is there any file with my file upload control if it is there then please save it to a new location that's my intention right so what I'm gonna do next step is going to be file upload one dot save as so this is you know this is the method which I'm going to use so what this method needs it needs a string file name your file name it needs okay so you have file upload one that is your file upload control then I'm making a method that is save as please save the file if the file is there with the file upload so the first line says if it 
if there is any file with file upload control if it is there then please save it to a location which i provide here in this method so i'll give a d and then let me provide it d drive okay and then i'll say a concatenation operator that is my plus and then i'll say file upload one dot file name okay that's it so this particular line will save that particular file in the d drive location okay that's easy to understand okay then also let me uh, i already had chosen this label so i will provide a message box label one dot txt and then i will say here that file and then again plus operator and then i will say file upload one dot file name then again plus operator and then string that is uploaded okay so uh, this label will give me you know file file uh, upload one dot file name that is the file name is uploaded let me also give some uh, you know the um, what do you call that uh, four color and then i'll say system dot drawing dot color dot green okay so it, it's green it's go for uh, you know the thing if it is right then I'll make an else condition where I have another another you know uh, message which says uh, let me write label one dot text which says problem in uploading okay and then also I'll give a label color so next line is going to be copied and I make it as a red okay so things are quite clear here I hope you understand the line of codes and then when I run this application so you can see uh, so this is my uh, local host oh this looks somehow tidy but that's okay I mean that's completely okay okay so what I'm gonna do I'll browse this this is my first step so you can see the uh, dialog box comes up and I will select uh, let me select from the desktop do I have anything yeah, so I will select this area.net.txt. I'll select and I'll open it. Okay, so this file has been selected. So area.net.txt has been selected. And when I hit on this upload button, you will see that it says file area.net.txt is uploaded. Or oh, it, it looks very tidy, right? That's okay. Let me go back to my D drive and let me see if it is if that file is there or not. So that file name is area.net.txt, which is there. There you go. So this is the file which you can see area.net.txt. So this application or this web application is working perfectly fine. You can save uh, your, your particular file in the specified location. So let's change something. So the first thing uh, that I want to change here is, so you, you already had seen that, you know, with the help of label, you can show the messages. In Windows application, you have two options to show the message. One is message box and the other one is label. Okay, label. So let me figure this out. So let me divide this. So this is going to be the Windows application. Okay, and this is going to be the web application or let me call it as website okay so here for the for to show the message in windows application i have two options one is message box and the other one is i have label right but in the web application i don't have any message thing instead of that i have label as my first option i'm so sorry for the spelling mistake but that's okay okay label and then the other option i have is response dot right you know response dot right okay this looks similar to that of console dot right or right line so if i if i create one more option for for you people then for the sake of you know simplicity i will write here console application then i have two options one is console dot right and the other one is console dot dot right line okay 
so these are the things that you can do to show up the messages i hope you understand it right so this is okay so windows application message box and label i'm so sorry for this <laughs> spelling mistake and then this web application i have label and response dot write and console we have console dot write and console dot write line okay so instead of that label i can also write response dot write right so that also i can do but then you can see the write is a kind of method so you see if i instead of label one dot txt if i write here response dot write then you can see this is a kind of method it is not a, 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 i cannot put it in the uh, like label i can i have to provide the method so it's it's a method so i can provide string a character or object so let me provide a string here that is problem in uploading okay that's similar to that of label content that we had written okay so when i when i again uh, you know again run this application you will see that if i don't select any file then that this particular message that file problem in uploading is going to be shown up instead of label it is going to be shown up here here you can see if i click on this upload button you will see that it says problem in uploading right so this is the thing and uh, this why this red label comes up is because i have this four colors so if i comment here and when i run this application you will see there will be a no problem it will not show up so upload you see a problem in uploading okay so that's the thing we can do i hope you understood it uh, let me have another thing is um, let me save it on a very particular location let me let me save it on a folder so i have a folder here in d drive you can see here where it is yeah so this is a folder you can see this is the path this is the folder folder so uh, if i want to save there then you have to make either you can use verbatim string or you can use you know double slashes so when i run this application this will also uh, work fine and uh, let me save this adio.net.txt in the d drive in the folder folder okay when i hit on this upload button you will see file ad.net is uploaded and when i go to the uh, d drive and the folder and when i refresh it why this is not working is because let me see oh let me put it again oh i'm so sorry let me run it again not run but i think i had done some mistake here oh let me put it over here now when i run this application when i browse this and when i say adia.net.txt when i hit on this upload button that adia.net text is uploaded when i go back to my d drive folder and you can see your file is going to be shown up okay so we haven't done that double slashes after the folder so you can see the adia.net.txt is being saved inside the d drive and the folder i hope you understand it and uh, thank you so much for listening to me if you haven't subscribed my channel then i i i please i insist you to please subscribe my channel and uh, thank you so much for listening to me